I'm going to show you how to plant a Trachycarpus fortunae in the ground. It's actually very easy and the process applies to most garden palms. Trachycarpus are not particularly fussy when it comes to soil type, although they don't especially like very sandy soil or very chalky soil. Other than that, they're very happy in almost anything. If the soil is dry, it's a good idea to soak the root ball for an hour or two before planting it, but if the soil is moist, I don't think you have to bother. So, first thing to do, dig the hole. Here's one I prepared earlier. We're going to take the plant out of the pot. You can see this pot is absolutely full of roots, so perfect time to plant it out. Pop it in the hole. This is a 20 litre size, it's a very popular size. Pop that in the bottom of the hole. There we are, like that. Make sure it's upright because you won't get another chance later on. There's no need to add anything to the soil. I don't think it's necessary to put bone meal in or fertilizer or anything like that, even grit. As long as the soil is kind of what I would call ordinary English garden soil, it'll be absolutely fine. So pop that in the hole like that, and then all you have to do is just sort of backfill it with the soil that came from the hole. And try and get the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the hole has to be sufficiently deep so that the root ball will sit just below the previous level. In that way it's going to be much easier to water it, to get water to stay there. If, if it ends up with the soil ball proud of the soil, then when you water it, say with a hose, the water will just run off, which won't do it any good at all. So try and make it a bit deeper rather than a bit too deep rather than too shallow, I think. Let's fill this in. I must say we're blessed with wonderful soil around here. It's very, what's the word, friable. There's no stones in it. Absolutely lovely. You may not be so lucky. So there we are. As you can see, it's just below the surface, which is ideal. And then just walk around and press it down with your foot, just to make sure that soil ball makes good contact with it, with the hole that you've dug. And if you can leave a bit of a depression around it, like this, as you can see, then it'll make watering very much easier. And that's the next step. Just get a garden hose and stand there for 10 minutes, giving it a thorough soak, which makes the make sure that the root ball touches the, uh, the hole of the side of the hole. Job done. <laughs>